It's your girl Jasmine Rose and today I have a story time for y'all. So gather around children. I'm about to tell y'all what not to do in Paris, France. I was going to Europe for a month. I was going with my ex-boyfriend. He had family out there that he wanted me to meet and friends and everything like that. Our first stop was Paris, France. When I got to Paris, it was late at night and I was just in awe. It was really, really beautiful and his, him and his sister had actually picked me up from the airport. Next day, we woke up and we wanted to, you know, see the sights, do a little bit of surveying. We went to the Eiffel Tower. It was beautiful. It was huge. I, we took a bunch of pictures of it, some of which you can see on my Instagram. Um, and yeah, I just was just having a great time. We spent the day gallivanting in Paris. We, at the end of our little Eiffel Tower trip, we went back to our hotel to get ready because we wanted to go to the club. So I had never been to a club really because I was 20, I was 20 when I got to Paris. I was planning on, I was turning 21 later on in the like the week after. While we were getting ready, I was getting ready, I think I was putting on makeup and stuff like that. Um, my ex-boyfriend had invited his ex-girlfriend to come out to Paris with us and just, you know, spend a few days. And then we were going to go to from Paris to Hungary where she was from and she was gonna show us around Budapest and we were gonna have a great time, time of our lives everything like that so when he invited her over to Paris she was gonna come out with us that night to the club so she came over to our room but we all decided to start drinking which was also not the greatest idea and also a key element of the story I think right after that we had we started getting ready so I was in a turtleneck and a fanny pack and it wasn't really a fanny pack. Like a fanny pack you're supposed to wear outside this one you are supposed to wear inside of your jeans now I did not know that and that is a key element of the story. Since I had the fanny pack, my ex-boyfriend gave me his IDs, his, his regular ID, his military ID, and he'd given me $500 so that we could change the money from American dollars into French dollars. Euros, Euros there you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> me, my boyfriend, and his ex-girlfriend all got into an Uber and went to the club. So we got to the club. I had obviously, like I said, this is my first time at the club. I was like, oh, I'm about to turn up. We're about to have a great time. I checked my coat in at the door. There was a lot of people there and it was a lot of African people there. And my ex-boyfriend was African. So I was really excited because I was like, oh my God, it's your people. So we were just talking to everybody. He spoke French, so he was talking to everybody. I was talking to his ex-girlfriend and we were just having like a great time. Time, like a great time we had actually we had gotten a table so we were living large I was feeling really fancy we had gotten vodka because that is my you know that's my poison that's my drink of choice so we start to drink and immediately right off the bat I noticed how strong the vodka was which again is a key element of the story. I remember seeing the like percentage of it and it was like considerably higher than the percentage here but it was the same vodka that I would have drank here. Don't drink underage, by the way. <laughs> Don't drink until you're 21. Last thing that I remember is taking pictures with everybody. And then I just, just, story goes cold, trail goes dark. I don't remember anything after that. What I do remember is waking up the next day and being like, Whoa, woke up immediately, had a hangover, the headache just, the headache just, the headache just hit me like that. And I woke up next to my ex-boyfriend and I was like, what happened? And he's like, I don't know. So I start to look for my phone. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I check the entire bed, I check under the bed, I check my shoes, can't find my phone. I check the fanny pack and there's nothing in it. No, I'm lying. There is something. There's chapstick in it. Now, like I said, before we left, I had $500, all of his military IDs, and just what we needed, like money. I had $500 in American dollars in that fanny pack. And it was gone. Gone. There was no money left in the freaking fanny pack. So I'm immediately panicking because I'm like, I can't find my phone. I can't find the money. And then I, I'm telling him this and he's like, what? Check again. Like check everywhere. Check your pockets. So I check my pockets. I check the, my coat pockets. I check everything. The money is gone. The cards are gone. And it was all my fault. I don't 
remember getting robbed. It wasn't like a Kim K situation. I wasn't held up or anything like that. But sometime throughout the night, I had gotten robbed. Now, if I had kept worn the fanny pack as it was intended inside of my pants, probably wouldn't have happened. But I'm an idiot and I, that's the moral of the story really, is that I'm an idiot and I had worn it outside of my pants and above my freaking, or like at my waist and everything was gone. That day was New Year's Eve. So I spent my New Year's Eve just miserable, hung over, no phone, no nothing. And it was two days into our month long trip. So I just knew that I had to spend the rest of the month without my phone. I had to contact my family from his phone. Of course, they were all freaking out. They were like, you idiot. How could you have lost your phone? How, what if something happens to you? What if you get lost? And I was like, I don't know, girl. I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. Um, so that was great. And I hope y'all learned from that and be careful with the vodka in Europe. <laughs> uh, to me though, the worst part of the story is that a few days later, I had gotten really, really sick. Like me and my ex-boyfriend, we just had a fever. We had had a uh, very sore throat, like literally hurt to swallow. So a lot of my time in Paris, we, I spent in bed because I was sick. Since my fever was running so high, I was I would fall asleep and hallucinate. Like to have a full on hallucination. I couldn't tell if it was a dream or not. So in the middle of the night one night, a few days later, I had hallucinated that I was walking down the street in Paris and people were selling stuff and I had seen my phone and I knew it was my phone because it was the same case and everything. So I picked it up and I was so excited. Like I finally found my phone. And as soon as I grabbed it, I woke up and it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was in bed and I felt it in my hand. But when I looked, there was no phone there. Like I really thought I had hallucinated that I found my phone and I did it. And I had to spend the rest of the month without a phone. Um, I had lost $500, which is not the first time that I've lost a large amount of money, by the way. It was just, it was not my best moment. So my advice to you is that if you ever go to Europe, please get the fanny pack and wear it inside of your pants, number one. Be careful with the vodka because it's a little something different than what you're used to out here in LA or out here in the US if you're in the US. Um, and number three, just don't be stupid because that, that's a really big problem in my life and it leads to a lot of bad things and that was one of them. Europe was one of them. Other than that though, I had a great fabulous time in Europe. I had gone to uh, Belgium and Budapest and Ireland. I had a great time in Ireland. Prague, beautiful. 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Just don't be stupid. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have anything else that you want to see from me, please don't forget to leave it down in the comments below. I love you. Don't be stupid. Bye. So yes, I did not have the greatest time in Paris. I'm in Paris.